So as we come to the end of our story about what reduces stress, it might be helpful to know that the research has shown that simply writing out a stress story can make a big difference. The act of giving coherence and, and I think creating your own personal narrative to stressful events in a letter can be an effective way of negating the stress of those events. The classic therapeutic letter writing exercise is writing a letter to somebody who stresses you out and then not posting it. Finally, I'd like to leave you with this advice to improve your thinking style. Think basics. When I play tennis and, and things are going badly, which is often the case, I forget about everything else and say, move your feet, watch the ball. That's it. When things are stressful, sometimes you need to keep it simple. Say to yourself, I will keep a regular sleep routine. I will avoid eating crap. I will walk. I will mingle. And, and I think there's some early evidence for altruism or doing good. As Abe Lincoln said, when I do good, I feel good. When I do bad, I feel bad. And that is my religion. And I'm often reminded about the power of simplicity from a, a lesson one of my patients taught me. I did deliver bad news to him. And, and when I did, he kind of shrugged his shoulder and said, well, I'll be okay. I follow the 90-10 rule. 10% of how we do in life is based on what happens to us and 90% and is how we respond. I think the same may be true of stress. So take a deep breath. Think about your big picture of commitment, your sense of control, your openness to change. Consider doing some homework on yourself. Reframe your thinking. Redirect your attention. Maybe write a letter. Repeatedly, the evidence shows that if people manage their stress well, they have better health outcomes for virtually any disease they may suffer from. And remember that challenges will always be out there, that's life. But remember too that your thoughts and your attitude are the key holders for the stress you experience. Not the traffic, not your boss, not your job, not your neighbor, but you. And something you can improve, your thinking. Hope this helps. Thanks for listening.